and sing praises unto his name. We thank God for another day. Amen. That he will afford us a privilege and a blessing to be in his house. Amen. To render praises unto the Lord. There's a song I don't want to sing all of the verses, but at least number one, I'm going through. I ask Mother Payne if she'll help raise that song. I don't know if you need your book back, Mother, you can have your book.
Yes, I am going through. I'll pay the price, whatever others do. I'll take the way with the Lord despise few. Praise Him. It's just a few, and they're despised. But I'll take the way with the Lord despise few. Because I started with Jesus, and I am going through. How many want to go through? Amen. Think about what you're saying now. How many want to go through? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If the Lord take you through, amen, you're well able and capable of going through. We're just grateful for another day that the Lord has blessed us. Amen. As we can come together into the house of God, amen, to render praises and give him the honor that is due unto his name. Amen. And as I said on Wednesday, amen, as Mother Payne just stated also, some call this the day of Sabbath. Amen. Some say Saturday or Sunday is the Sabbath. Amen. But according to Paul and according to Romans chapter number 14, amen, every man will choose his own day. Amen. And there's no specific or special day. Amen. Man came up with Sunday as a day to come and worship God. Amen. But you can choose to worship God on Monday. Amen. You can have worship service on Monday. Yes, sir. Praise it. You can have it on Tuesday if you choose to. Uh -huh. Amen. The day don't matter. All right, y'all. Amen. The day don't matter. But what matter is, Jesus said, Amen. Now is the hour. Uh -huh. And the hour of come now when they that worship him. Uh -huh. Amen. Must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. But man set aside Sunday saying that they did it. We here today. Uh -huh. Amen. God any day of the week. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord because God deserves the praise. We don't have to wait till Sunday to worship Him. Oh, no. Amen. You can sing and make melodies in your heart unto the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. We want to call your attention. Amen. Briefly as the Lord will inspire us and Bless give me the strength to amen. Declare the word of God. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Pray that the Lord give me strength. Amen. To do His will, Amen. not my will. Amen. But the will of the Lord be done. Yes. Amen. Matthew chapter number 28. I want to call your attention to the book of Matthew chapter 28. Start at reading at verse number 1. Matthew chapter 28. I'm going to start off reading. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then we have Deacon Lee. Amen. To help read for us. We have a few scriptures as the Lord will allow us to. Amen. We realize that this is the Lord's doing. And we humble ourselves to his way and his will. To lead on to the Holy Ghost. And ask the Holy Ghost for his guidance. In the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse number 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him the keepers did shake, and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye. For I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. Mm -hmm. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come, yes. see the place where the Lord lay. Hello. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. 
clearly, there shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn, praise the Lord. My text today, the dawn of a new day. All right. All right. The dawn of a new day. In other words, the beginning mm -hmm. of a new day. Hallelujah. We see here Jerusalem a few days ago. There was a lot of noise in Jerusalem. There was an uproar in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. It was concerning a man called Jesus. One that, amen, they crucified. Yes, sir. But at this time, Jerusalem was back to its normal way of living. Uh -huh. Because the man Christ Jesus, they thought they have got rid of him. Yeah. May I call your attention just to go back just a little bit. All right, Bishop. Concerning this man Christ Jesus. Yeah. One that God sent to die for the world. St. John chapter 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son. God only declared that he have one begotten son. Amen. But we are the adopted children of God through Jesus Christ. Yeah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe on him uh -huh. should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, sir. Went on to say God did send his son into the world to condemn the world. Uh -huh. Amen. But the world through him right. might be saved. This Jesus one day was baptized of John the Baptist. All right now, Bishop. Amen. John the Baptist was called John the Baptist, meaning he was the baptizer. Uh -huh. Amen. He was the half, he was the cousin of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you look at John's amen age and Jesus' age, they're six months apart. Amen. So John the Baptist and Jesus were cousins. Praise the Lord. And one day John saw him coming. Uh -huh. And he looked up and said, Behold the Lamb of God. Yes, sir. Amen. Which taketh away the sins of the world. Uh -huh. Amen. Man was in sin, my friend. Yes. Amen. We were lost. Uh -huh. Amen. On our way to a lasting hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But God loved his creation. Yes. Yes. Amen. God loved the human family. Amen. But he had no other choice. Amen. The psalmist says, Thou turnest man to destruction. Uh -huh. But now we say, Return. Amen. Ye children of men. Yes, Praise the Lord. I believe Amos. Amen. When you looked at it, he said, God's going to set up a plumb line. All right. Amen. That plumb line is going to be in the midst of Israel. Uh -huh. Amen. If I go back to the man called Moses. Yeah. Amen. One that God used. Amen. To deliver children of Israel out of Egypt's land. Uh -huh. Amen. Moses went on to document in Deuteronomy 18, 18. Uh -huh. A prophet like unto me. Oh, yes. Amen. So the Lord your God raise up from among you. Yes, sir. Amen. He's coming right from among you. Hallelujah. Amen. As you see as time went on, my friend. Uh -huh. Amen. It seems as though the human family was in trouble. All right, Amen. There was no hope for the human family. Yeah. But Isaiah couldn't do it. That's right. Jeremiah came on the scene, uh -huh. and Jeremiah couldn't do it. Yeah. Amen. But there came a time. All right. Amen. When God had it in mind. Yeah. Amen. A lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. All right. Amen. Jesus was foreordained. Uh -huh. Amen. Before the foundation of the world. Amen. John was baptizing. Amen. Because God told John to go and baptize. Yeah. John was sent to prepare the way of the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. To introduce Jesus to Israel. That's right. Amen. He was known as the baptizer. Yeah. Amen. And God told John now, when you see one that come to get baptized, yeah. and you see the Spirit descend, uh -huh. amen, and rested on him, uh -huh. and remain on him, yeah. amen, that's the, that's the one. Oh, hallelujah. John, you're going to baptize many people today. 
today. Yeah. Amen. But there is one that is coming. All right. Amen. And this is a sign that you will know. Uh -huh. Amen. That this is the anointed one. Amen. As John was baptizing there uh -huh. in Jordan River. Yeah. Amen. He looked up one day and he saw a man. Uh -huh. Amen. Walking. Amen. To the river. Yeah. Amen. He wasn't walking to be sprinkled. All right. Amen.
And ask Ty, uh-huh. want you to lose him. 
Paul introduced. That's right. And I still was loose in the ass. Uh huh. That was tied up. Uh huh. The man said, "What you doing?" They said, "Jesus needed him." He didn't need him. They unloose the donkey. Uh huh. They unloose the ass. Uh huh. And they took it to Jesus. Yeah. And placed Jesus on the ass. That's right. I 
shall release Jesus, because mm -hmm. he's a just man. Yeah. But the Pharisees All right. and the Sadducees yeah. is on people. Yeah, no, it's on Jewish brethren. Uh -huh. Say crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. Yeah. Pilate said, what wrong have you done? Yeah. You and they brought all these accusations. Oh, what wrong have you done? Hallelujah. They said, Pilate, he have called himself the king of the Jews. Yeah. When Pilate heard that, Pilate ran into the judgment hall uh -huh. and said, Are you a king? Jesus said, Thou say yes, I am. Thou say it. Huh? Are you a king? He said, Yes, I am. Unto this end was I born. Yeah. Pilate even heard that Jesus was the Son of God. Uh-huh. The Bible said when Pilate heard that, Pilate got fearful. At all. Pilate began to question. Even Pilate's wife, oh hallelujah, said, have nothing to do with this just man. Yeah. Because I have suffered many things because of this man in my dream. That's right. That's right. Don't arm this man. He's a just man. But Pilate couldn't get out of it. Not at all. Because the scripture got to be fulfilled. Got to be fulfilled. But Pilate brought him a basin of water. All right now. And he washed his hand in the presence of them. Yeah.
what he needed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta keep going to the you Lord. Sometimes you don't always answer the first time you go. Yeah. But now faith is the substance of things that is all for. Yeah. It is the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it is impossible please to please God. Yeah. For he that cometh to God, Lord, I feel all right. Yeah. 